What's taking them so long? Maybe we should go back and check on them. Give them another minute. We made it down here without a scratch. I reckon this area is secure. Don't shoot! It's Eckhart! Run! They're everywhere! I don't see anything. They were right behind me. Following the lift. Don't worry. You're safe now. Where's the doc? What happened? We were attacked, and she... Hal locked herself in with them to buy us some time. Told me to go on. She's dead? You were supposed to protect her. She locked the door. There was nothing I could do. Frankly, she probably saved all of us. Are you sure? You thought I was dead before, but... Quite sure. I'm sorry, Liz, but she's gone. And the time she bought us just ran out. Move! Get in the tram! Oh, God! We'll have to split up, find a shuttle. Is that really a good idea? The longer we stick around, the more chance of winding up like every other dead bastard on board. You and Lexine, check out the flight deck. What about you? Me and Eckhart can take the maintenance deck. We might get lucky and find a repair job. And this is us. Come on, Eckhart. Good luck. Why me? Didn't want to split the lovebirds up. Adrenaline, do me a favor and keep it together a while longer. This thing isn't over. Yes, well, I wish it was. We're not all soldiers like you. Just focus on keeping yourself in one piece. You seem pretty good at that. Look up there, in the vents. Some of that fleshy substance. Yeah, somehow I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Keep it tight. This wouldn't be as awful if it wasn't so bloody dark. Just stay close. Split up. Who even knows if there's a shuttle down here? Eckhart, shut up, or your big mouth will get us both killed.
Okay, Eckhart. Keep moving. A shuttle. See it, cut? Still in one piece. Open this door! No, sir. My lieutenant's orders were not to let anyone in here. You'll have to wait till he gets back. Your lieutenant's probably dead. I'm ordering you to unlock this door. Look out! Soldier, get out here and cover me! Damn it, soldier! I'm only gonna say this one more time. Open the door! Sorry, sir. I, I can't risk them getting in here. You just watched us kill them all!
Jesus. Poor bastard didn't even see it coming. Shit. The console's wrecked. Someone's got to go down there and flip the launch hatch by hand. Someone? I wouldn't even know what it looks like. Weller. There isn't a single shuttle on the flight deck. Every craft is either gone or wrecked. Figures, don't worry, there's one here. It needs a manual launch, but it should be okay. We're in Bay 47. Get here on the double. Weller out. I'll open the hatch. Eckhart, sit tight and wait for me. My pleasure. Just one more to go. Come in! I believe it is vital Lexine undergoes further examination on Earth. Altman be praised. End of message. What the hell is going on here? Weller, this is confidential CEC business and none of your concern. How dare you? CEC? Sounded more like the church to me. But I guess there isn't much difference anymore, is there? You're in no position to question my authority, Sergeant. Don't talk to me about authority. Now, 
Let's hear that again. This is Overseer Eckhart, code word Oracle, with a message for Enigma Lang. Events on Aegis 7 and the Ishimura are extraordinary. The marker is genuine, though its effects are disturbing, and I am blessed to have survived. I have found the subject you were looking for, Lexine Murdoch, a, a surveyor. She appears immune to the marker's effects, as you predicted. Nobody knows but me. There was a botanist here who suspected my mission, but I've taken care of her. You son of a bitch! I'm afraid so. Sorry, sir, but I can't let you stop me. I must save Lexine, so that she can save all of us. McNeil was right about you. So were you, actually. But I can't allow your ignorance to jeopardize Unitology's mission. Why Lexine? She fits the profile. I didn't even realize it until we all got on board. But it all adds up. The church sent me to find her. And you just made my job easier. But nobody except the church can know about her. Not even Lexine herself. Not that she would understand. How could she? She's never even experienced this madness that the rest of us succumb to so easily. You must be pretty pleased with yourself. Please, Sergeant. I'm not an arrogant man, merely devout. My reward will be... I guess nobody deserves to die like that. Not even... me.